can you attach a link to a website? Absolutely. So I want to attach the link to our Twitter account. So I'm going to copy that like I would normally. Compose a message, select my recipients. I want that to go to everyone so that they know about the Talking Points Twitter and just paste it like normal. So in our system, it might not show up blue and underlined on your end, but when families receive it, it will be a clickable link and be able to click on whatever that is. And that brings me to another great point, which are YouTube videos. So because we do have a video limit that we um, can attach because of SMS carrier restrictions, one thing that we have been suggesting to families to do is to send links to YouTube videos. If you have a YouTube video where you've been uploading lessons or anything of that nature, you can go to YouTube. In this case, I am going to go to the Talking Points YouTube account, which is useful for all of you as well because that is where we have uploaded our Getting Started with Talking Points webinars. So I can select this video. And that's me. Well, I hate, I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but I hate hearing the sound of my voice recorded. So I never watch these recordings. I just trust that my coworkers are, are watching them and that it's all going well. So I've copied and pasted the link to that YouTube. And I can select again who I want it to go to and I can send it out. And one awesome thing that my coworker Aubrey has discovered as well is that in YouTube videos, you can actually caption them and put in subtitles. Um, so if you have any families that are obviously speaking different languages, you can, as you're uploading them, select what languages you want the subtitles to be generated in. In this case, when we uploaded it, English was the only option. Um, but when you upload your own videos, you can select different languages for those to be subtitled in so that families can receive them and read them in their own home languages, which is super awesome.